Craig and Tanya, it was two boys on their bikes who first noticed that truck and people in this pond. Their quick thinking mobilized neighbors. This is a tragedy, but theirs is a story about compassion. He had the little boy with him and I just picked him up. He was soaking wet and he just latched onto me and he was not wanting to let go. Call it a mother's instinct. I wasn't wanting to let go of him either. Sarah Haggard held a boy who wasn't her own until medics arrived. I couldn't bring myself to leave the site. I stayed there in the entire night until everything was done. Her son Kai and his friend Dante were riding bikes, the first ones to find the truck and a father with two kids in this pond. Dante calls 911. Yes, 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 a red truck. Your daughter is sinking. She was like, Daddy, Daddy, the um truck is sinking. That wet boy who latched onto Haggard is the only one who made it out. Witnesses say Morantz Harrison went under first, but this man. You actually saw it go under? Yeah, I'm about to have to go get this kid. Ran in to save the girl. The little girl gets on his back, but she like slipping. I don't know what to say to him, and I don't know if there's anything anybody can say to him other than he's the true hero in my eyes because he's the one that jumped in that water and he's the one that put his life at risk. Haggard holds her son tighter today. He didn't go to school, neither did Dante Lasky. For them to act so fast and to do all the things that they did from calling the police, calling me, getting that guy. My dad was really proud of me. And he should be proud. Remember what I told you about being good neighbors. In the last couple of hours, people have come and left some flowers, and you can see a stuffed animal here uh, near where they pulled out, pulled that truck out of the water. Fairfield police continue looking for what led up to this crash or, or what got this truck in the water. We learned earlier today that there might have been early signs of trouble. A 911 call an hour and a half before about a red Ford truck driving wildly here on what used to be a golf course. You're going to hear more about that next at six. Till then, we're live in Fairfield. I'm Evan Millward, nine on your side.